So we're going to take a look at the range function. And what I have here is just a quick explanation of what range is going to do. It's going to give us the values from some starting point up into, but not including, a stopping point and incremented by some value. So we can see that here, range, start, stop, increment. And when we run this, starting at zero, we're going to 10, we're going by one, and we get the output zero through nine. Now, if I wanna go by twos, I can change the increment to two, and we'll see zero, two, four, six, eight. Python is really nice, and most of the time, when you're going up to a given value, you're probably not going to put in the starting point of zero or the increment. You might just put in the stopping point. So by default, you're going to start at zero, and the increment is going to be two. And if I do this, we're just going to see zero through nine. So remember, this is not inclusive. It's going to go up to, but not include, the stopping point. And notice here on line five, I've wrapped the range function in the list function. So if essentially, I'm casting the range to a list. If I didn't do that, we would see this range object. And this is the range from 0 to 10. If I look at the type of this range object, it's going to be of type range. So class range. So to see the range in the form of a list, which might be more understandable at times, you might just want to cast it to a list, like I did here. The other thing to consider you can start at a negative value. So let's start at negative 10. And let's go all the way up to 10 and increment by 2. So start, stop, increment. And let's see what we get. Negative 10, negative 8, negative 6, all the way up to 8. Notice it is inclusive of the starting point, exclusive of the stopping point.